Welcome back to Black Swan Outdoors, and today we're going to talk about this communication device. Uh, this is a multifunctional communication device that I've been kind of messing around with, um, and I thought maybe I'd go into a little bit more detail on uh, what this is and kind of the um, ideas behind some of the usage of it. Um, in a few videos ago, I got a comment about some of the boards when I talked about the covert communicator device. So if you saw that video, a lot of what I talked about in that video, I'll probably be repeating here in this video. Um, but I am going to try to go into a little bit more detail about the three boards that we had in that video because I did have one person ask a question about those and I haven't gotten a chance to get back to uh, them about that. So I thought I would just do uh, this video and kind of go in a little bit more detail. So what this device is uh, designed to do is to kind of augment and, and supplement um, a group communications. So let's say you're in a rally, a protest, a natural disaster, uh, anywhere where there's a large group of people and you need to communicate uh, and keep tabs of what's going on within that crowd and also outside of that crowd. Um, and so we, what we want is a high degree of situational awareness, and this is helps communicate out to people and then also receive information. And let's talk a little bit about how that happens. So the box itself is just a crayon box. It's literally just a, a, a dollar. I picked it up at a at an office store, um, and then just packed it full of of items. On the outside of the of the box is um, an SDR dongle. Uh, and then a, a battery pack, and and then just the antenna. Uh, this is just a regular Wi-Fi antenna, or, or uh, you know, board antenna that you have for a Raspberry Pi um, and for a computer um, uh, uh, connection to the internet. Um, and so basically, I just have this on here on the side. Um, and what this antenna goes to is um, essentially the heart of the device, uh, which is one of these mesh boards. All right, this is uh, the software uh, that runs this is uh, Meshtastic. Um, and uh, essentially what you do is plug this right into your phone. and powers the phone, powers the board, um, and then I can send a text message, and this can be encrypted since it's not going over amateur radio bands, um, to anybody uh, that has these device. You know, what's neat about this is that anybody that has this device creates a mesh. So uh, let's say you're communicating with your radios in an area that, um, cannot, uh, uh, the, the radio signals can't go. There's a building, like this thing will be the building, uh, is, inter is, is uh, obscuring the radio communications in there. And so what you can do is you can set one of these devices up and set it on top of the building or on the side of the building, wherever you can get a signal. Um, and if one person, the radio operator has this device and this radio operator has this device and this and one of these boards is in between, you're going to be able to communicate. So you can do this in a hole, you could do this in a cave, you could do this, uh, uh, you know, in, in any context in which you need to expand your communications. You could also put this thing on a vehicle, which we'll talk about in a sec, um, and increase your communications also um, over the crop over line of sight. Um, so there's a lot of interesting capability with this. It doesn't require lots of power. Um, that, that signal is gonna go very far. Uh, I don't have the exact um, uh, figures on that, but you can go online and, and see what other people have done uh, for, for distance. Um, I'm still in the, in the uh, testing phase, you could say. Um, so, um, so this is what the board looks on the outside. This is actually the second board. Uh, I have two boards. Uh, that way I can hand this off to somebody else and then I have one inside the box already attached to this larger antenna. Um, and now, uh, if I wanted to communicate with somebody, I could just hand them this board, um, and then I'll be able to send them radio signals 
um, just essentially text messages. Now keep in mind, anyone else that is this board can intercept these radio transmissions. So uh, they're going to be able to, or if they, if you leave this box, say as a node somewhere in between two locations that you don't want to communicate, um, the, and they can see this board, they can read that message. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, so the idea behind this board is that it's not just for mesh communications, but also going to give you the capability of doing other types of communications. So the battery bank here on the back is going to be help run and get power to these boards independent from a phone. But we also have an SDR dongle uh, that we can use. And so we can plug this SDR dongle also into a phone, tablet, or computer and it's going to give us a wide visual and audio representation of the radio frequencies in our area. Uh, and so all we have to do is just attach an antenna to it and plug it into your phone and you're ready to go. Um, and so you can do this in a vehicle, you could do this uh, walking um, any, in, in, in any capacity. Uh, you'll be able to have a wider look at the radio frequencies um, than what you would uh, you would have in your, your your standard radios. So one of the advantages of course with the, the uh, UV5R is that you can program all of the channels or the frequencies outside of the amateur bands with this radio uh, but you can get an even wider swath of frequencies uh, with with this and without having to listen to it you can actually see the those frequencies um, okay, so uh, next up in here is a deauthoring board. Um, this is an OLED Mini, um, and it's just the firmware. You just um, go on to GitHub and get the get the, uh, the software, uh, plug the, this in there, and uh, uh, install the firmware, and that's pretty much it. Uh, now what I can do with this is I can plug this into my phone or the uh, external battery bank and um, and I can deauthor or um, spoof if you if you will uh, or jam if you will it's not the technical terms but um, it'll uh, kick off any any Wi-Fi that's in the area so if you're worried about listening devices if you're worried about recording devices if you're worried about um, um, anything that uh, has Wi-Fi um, that in a large crowd that people might be using to communicate with, for example, uh, you can remove their, the capability of them to doing this. Now, keep in mind that it's also very illegal. Um, so it's a hypothetical suggestion, I guess. Um, so yeah, so this is a very, very interesting and very useful board in helping to remove communications. Now, why might you want to do that? Um, th there could be many reasons, um, but um, that's the capability of this board. The next board in here is Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, and the software that I have on here is what's called Pirate Box. And Essentially, what this does is it acts as a file sharing device, a wireless file sharing device. Um, and so you can use this as what's called a digital dead drop. So let's say two people wanted to communicate with each other, but they couldn't be associated with each other for whatever reason. Or maybe they just didn't have time. Um, you could upload your information, whatever you wanted to share on this board or this the Raspberry Pi, um, and then the other person could come by and uh, download that information both by their cell phones and they wouldn't have to be connected to this board or even near this board. Um, and so you could theoretically plug this box um, into the Wi-Fi device, run the pirate box. Um, it could be in the middle of a city place. You could put this under a bridge, on top of a car, under a car. Um, hidden wherever you want, 
um, and then the person could come by uh, with their cell phone um, and download this information, download the information that you have on here. Now, in an emergency uh, situation, let's say you're, you're dealing with a natural disaster, um, it could be that, hey, some guy loses their dog. Um, and so you can upload a picture of the dog into here, uh, and then everybody on the search and rescue team could then have access instantly to that dog's picture through that file sharing capability. Uh, you can also text uh, with each other, those that are sharing inside that um, as well. So there's a lot of functionality you can do with this board. Um, and then of course it's a Raspberry Pi, so you can do a lot of other computing things as well. So, um, yeah, so really this box is, um, oh, and then on the side here is what's called an NFC chip, and I did a whole article on that, uh, if you want to read that um, on the blog, and basically you just can, you can upload um, different types of um, information on here. So today, uh, here I'll show you, um, I just have, this is the pirate box. Um, IP address. So if someone wants to go around there and they want to connect to the power box, I don't have to send out a text message um, or repeat it um, or, or have them get it wrong by writing down the wrong thing. Um, uh, they can just scan their phone over this NFC chip and have instantly the IP address for that pirate box. Um, so that's a kind of a handy thing. But you can do all sorts of stuff. You can send money on Bitcoin or st store money on Bitcoin. Uh, you can uh, share files. This is waterproof, no batteries, um, nearly indestructible. Um, yeah, so it's a very, very cool uh, device um, and very, very, yeah, very multi-use. So that goes right here on the side. Um, yeah, so again, you know, these magnets are, are really just so that you can ad ad adhere this to devices um, that you want to. The Velcro does that as well. You can just wrap that around um, a fence post or um, you can put this in, in bushes or in a tree limb wherever you wanted to keep the plastic housing keeps everything relatively dry a nice antenna here um, and you can switch it out for the smaller antenna if, if you want on on one of the boards like this if you need something a little more covert um, and um, yeah and then you can be able to uh, communicate clandestinely. You can communicate in overtly with people. Uh, you can create mesh networks. Um, you'll be able to send encrypted text messages, um, send out critical information um, ab about the crowd or, or the thing you know that's going on. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this and interesting things. Um, and uh, it has a lot of, uh, of flexibility as well. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so that, that's the communications board. Um, again, I haven't really taken this out. I've been waiting to take this out into a crowd, um, a crowded area. I've been traveling a lot lately, so I haven't really had a lot of time, um, between traveling and writing. Uh, so I look forward to taking advantage of, of, uh, sometime this summer to get it out and, and run it through its paces and, and get some people to play around with it too. So if you want to replicate this, please, by all means, do so. Um, and let me know what you think of it. Uh, let me know if you've got some good successes or some ways you could think about improving the project for sure. Uh, so with that, I um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.